Eve, everybody, in group two, guided reading. This week, we are reading the story, Swimming Across the Pool. And there's a lovely picture of a girl, Colleen, and she's swimming across the pool. And if you look closely, her expression, she seems happy enough about it. So she must really like swimming. Um, so I'm predicting that it's going to be about a girl enjoying swimming. That's my prediction. What's yours? What do you think it's going to be about? Okay, quick flick through all the pictures. I like doing this a little bit sneak, sneak peek. At the pool, there's a swimming teacher. Everybody's having fun. This girl, is, this girl is kind of hanging on to the side of the pool. Mm -hmm. Oh, in this page, look at her expression there. What, how do you think she feels there? She's not looking too happy in that picture. So maybe give a guess of what's going on there. How do you think she feels about the pool? She's in the middle of the pool as well. I noticed that, look. She's not holding on in this picture and she doesn't look too happy. Maybe she's afraid. Um, this here looks like they're in their lesson and they're working really hard, practicing their strokes. Um, next picture, she's really swimming really hard there. More practicing. Oh my gosh, more swimming. I, I think she's getting across the pool. And there she looks happier there now. Yeah. And there, oh look, she's with her friend. She looks really happy. And the teacher looks, the swimming instructor looks really happy. And oh, looks like people are clapping there and look really, really happy. So I'm guessing she did something really, really great because everybody looks happy for her. So give a prediction as to what you think the story would be about before we start. Then we're going to go back to our word wall with all the words we've been doing since um, the last three books, okay? So it's really good to look at them all together. Can you stop the video and read all the words? Bum, 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 in a list. Can you find all the, mad, the plural words? Words that are more than one, like clothes, shoes, gloves, um, games. Can you find the magic E words? The magic E makes the vowels long, like games, stage. Um, can you find in words? Have a little challenge for yourself. Um, can you find, okay, lots, lots of other ones. One with three syllables. Festival. Can you find a word with one syllable? Shirts. <laughs> um, okay, so always go back over the whole thing. Pause it now with me, not me, me in it, and, and play some uh, vocabulary games. Uh, let's go over our new words first, or next. <laughs> right, so these are the words for swimming pool. First word, actually, I'm helping you with two words here, up here. Swimming, swimming. So the word swim, S-W-I-M, when you add an ing to it, the doing word, you get an extra M in there. Swimming. I am swimming in the sea. Also, the word swimmers. The swimmers jumped into the pool. Swimmers, also another M. Swimmers. Swimming, swimmers. Next one is an everyday word, just to practice it again. Often. It's something you do regularly. I often... Um, go for a walk okay next word is kind of a compound word two different words put them together to make a brand new word halfway halfway I was halfway to the shops when I realized I forgot my money halfway you're not the full way you're halfway there next word I put in because it's a bit tricky it's all fine until the very end practice there's a sneaky E in there. Practice. What does it mean to practice? It means to do something over and over again until you get really, really good at it. So I like to practice my piano. Next, magic E word, I put it in just to remind you. Race. Also, kind of a tricky C there. It's a, s, s, 
soft C sound, S sound, or ace race. Oh, I'm guessing there'll be a race in this swimming pool. Now, down here, proud, proud, to be proud of somebody or proud of yourself. What does that mean? Can you describe the word proud? I was proud of my friend when she accomplished um, the challenge or she got, she did the challenge. You know, I was proud of her when she achieved it. Okay. Oh, I forgot to write a letter in here. Do it with me. Okay, magic E word. Surprised. 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 What does it mean to be surprised? It means you're, uh, something happens and you weren't expecting it. <gasps> Shocked. Surprised. Put the word surprise into sentence. I was surprised when I won the lottery. Woohoo! Okay, next one. Kind of put this one in just to show you it's kind of a compound word. Herself. The word her and the word self. Herself. She was proud of herself. Okay. Also kind of a, a noun in disguise. Herself, you know, the girl in the story. It's a pronoun. Her. Okay. Speaking about the girl, but we don't know her name yet. This one. Another magic E word. Smiled. Smiled. Magic E. Smiled. Smile. You smile when you're proud. You smile when you're happy about something. Smiled. Okay. Very good. Well, these are all your words. Pause the video, practice all your words, and let's get into the book now. Right, so I'll read a page with you. Um, uh, but before that, I'm going to give you your challenge question for this story. I want you to find out at the, by the end of it. Why didn't Yasmin join in the race? Okay, so why didn't Yasmin join in the race? Let's start reading to find out why, okay? And we're going to stop along the way as well to just ask other questions, but that's your focus question. Yasmin, that must be her name, liked swimming with her friends from school. At the end of every lesson, Miss Lee, that's the instructor, would let the children play games in the water. So we've answered um, a few questions for ourselves. Who's in the story? Where is it taking place and um, what's happening? So it's a swimming lesson. There's a teacher and it's during the playtime. Okay. Sometimes the best swimmers in the class had a race across the pool. Yasmin's friend Sarah, new character, could swim fast. She often won the race. Okay, so that's stopping up there. We know a little bit more about her friend Sarah. She's a good swimmer. And the other children seem to love doing this race. Let's find out why Yasmin didn't join in the race. Off you go. Okay, finish the story. Again, important to do your three sentences, quick sentences, just so that I know you understand the words from your new words. And your writing this week is linked to your book and your science for the week. So your STEM challenge and you'll find out more in the STEM challenge number two bubble, is to design a float for something uh, in water. So design a float to maybe help somebody swimming in the pool, okay? There'll be lots more information in the STEM bubble, but that's your challenge. Group two, design a floating device, okay? Slan, have fun reading the book.